Good morning guys. So I'm off to take the cats to get their haircuts and my internet's not working and sorry it sounds funny, I'm really sick. My throat hurts so bad. I've drank as much tea as I could possible and I haven't been eating anything other than soup. But um, I'm re really craving some fresh vegetables, um, something really watery, I don't know. Hopefully I get over this fast and we're done. I know you guys can hear Maddie, and I don't know if I'm talking loud, my whole head's congested. I'm sorry if I am, but uh, I just feel like crap. And I got work tomorrow, so I better get better by tonight. And like I said, my internet's down, so I don't know if I need to go to Best Buy and buy a new router, or what, I already called the internet people. And they're like, um, there's nothing we can do for you. It's your router. Um, your internet's working perfectly fine. So if I connect my computer straight to like the internet modem thing, it would work perfectly fine. But other than that, it's not gonna work um, with the wireless thing. So, <sighs> um, so I am stuck with one of my cats. They wouldn't take him because they said his rabies wasn't up to date. But they don't expire for like. I don't know another four months They're like um go get another shot and then bring him back within 48 hours and we'll do his hair so i just got done dropping off cookie bear so there's no cage behind me now but uh i was pulling out of my development and there was a lady pulling out um a couple of roads up for me so she obviously wasn't watching and she started driving on the like sideline of the road so i wasn't really sure what was going on and then eventually she's like, um, let me over. I'm like, how am I supposed to let you over? You're over a hill. So I'm back from Walmart and Costco's. Um, I just took some medicine for my headache. Hopefully that will make it go away because it's pretty bad right now. And I wanted to show you my grocery haul. So let's get into it. So the main reason I went to Costco's was to pick up these unsalted cashews. Um, this is going to be the sauce for my noodles. So, I got squash and zucchini um, to make my noodles today, and then I also got a um, bundle of garlic for that. I also got chickpeas. I absolutely love these roasted in some coconut oil. They're so delicious. Then I got some kale greens to make some kale chips. I like those as well. More snacky foods, because I'm a big snacker. Then I got this meatless meatballs. Um, they're vegetarian. So it should be rather good so I can have these on my noodles as well if I'd like today. So we'll see. We'll see what we do with these. Let me put these in here. I also got um, some uncrustables from Smuckers for lunch to go so it'd be easy. Then I got these bean and cheese burritos. So there's no meat in them, which they need to go in the refrigerator too. Sorry, they've been sitting out in the car since Costco, so they all need to get put away. Yes, cookies on the counter. Then I got some sushi party rolls. Um, these to put my sprouts in. As you can see, they even have a picture of sprouts, so they're good thinking. Cookie is happy that he didn't go to the vet today, I guess. I got some organic dates. Oh, yeah, organic dates. These will be for my sauces and just a snack on. And I think that's all I got today. I'm going to get a cup of these uh, made up in some water so they'll be ready for lunch. I'm so hot right now. I need to sit down. I know my temperature is skyrocketed. And I got some more bananas. So I can make my banana ice cream and uh, some banana sauces, so that will be good. I gotta get Cookie away from this, because he's eating all my greens. No, Cookie Bear, I wish you went to get your hair cut, bad boy. It's okay. We're at the vet. As you saw from the last clip, I was at the vet. I'm back. That only took, I don't know, 45 minutes. Um, it's not bad. And then I'm going to start making my noodles so I can have my delicious sauce because I'm really hungry now. <coughs> um, Cookie did pretty good. you got to make sure he's okay for the next 24 hours, you know. So you guys ask how I made my noodles. So I just use my mandolin and I use um, the lowest setting I can on my mandolin. 
but a lot of you people are going to have a mandolin. So literally, you go to Walmart, there's a thing called like the spiralizer or the noodleizer. It was something. And um, you can just buy that and then you just turn it and it makes noodles. But this I'll show you the best I can. So I just, can I put you here? I don't have the best equipment for you guys to stand up without falling on the floor. So then I just push this whole thing forward. And let me get some better noodles since those. Um, absolutely delicious. Mm. So, I'm going to continue on with this. So, I just finished making my noodles. You guys want to see them? Here, let me turn on this light so you get a better visual. Here we go. So, this is 100% raw zucchini noodles. So, this is pretty like pretty much a beginner's guide right now to raw food. Um, so here we do our just little zucchini noodles. You could heat these up if you wanted, if you wanted them warm, but I don't. I want this meal to be 100% raw. So I'm going to start the sauce. So I don't know if you guys saw, but earlier I was making, um, well soaking these, I wasn't making them. So now they're really, really kind of pliable and smushy, so they'll grind up a lot better. And I'm going to use coconut water as my base, just something really hydrating and with potassium stuff. Stuff that's good for me, right? So let's get this Vitamix to work in. So for the base of my sauce, I'm going to have the yeast of cashews, um, three dates to give it a little bit of sweetness, a red pepper, a purple onion, and a handful of tomatoes, and then the coconut water. Then I also have just some, like, celery seasoning, dried seasoning. So let's pop this in here. Um, let's make a mess. Um, and then a handful of tomatoes, make sure they're all clean, perfect. And then I'm going to add the coconut water a little at a time, so don't want to add too much. And I'm going to use the plunger for this. So I'm going to be using that. And this should make the most creamiest, delicious thing I can ever want. I'm going to add spices at the very end, but not quite yet. Also, a little olive oil will do you some good in there as well. If you can get cold pressed olive oil, that's even better. So you have more raw to your wellness. Alrighty. Let's put this on. 100% raw right there. Delicious. That is the bomb.com. If you want something totally delicious, it's a little spicy, a little sweet, a little savory I should so I'm waiting for my kale chips to finish cooking up and then I am making some apple raviolis Maddie's home she don't haircut she'll be like what's going on you smell so different you can see all the hair so attached to her they don't do too good of a job but whatever I'm not going to complain too much. It's a cat. Yeah. So I'm sitting here watching uh, YouTube right now. I'm going to watch Netflix in a little bit. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm definitely congested like in this area. My nose area and like right above my eyes. But other than that, it's fine. Maddie's giving herself a bath. I'm not very pleased how she got a haircut. It cost me $100 plus a tip. They charged me extra because she had mats and which I understand that probably was a lot of work to get some of those mats out but where she didn't even have mats they missed like a ton of fur but whatever and when they handed her to me she was still like really fur like they didn't brush her fur out or anything and she was there from 10 in the morning till it was like I think 5 30 at night so she was there pretty much, I don't know, six, seven hours, but whatever. And then Kuki's vet called and asked how he's doing. He's definitely sore because when he walks with his back legs, they're kind of wobbly. So I know he's feeling it, but I gave him some squishy food and gave him kisses and hugs and told him it was going to be okay. So we just got to have a little cuddle party tonight and make sure everyone's okay. I know Maddie's very traumatized. <laughs> I love my baby so much. But yeah, I'm going to get a shower so I can get some of this banana ice cream. <laughs> yeah. So I'm out of the shower and I just got done making my chocolate naga. I just got out of the shower and I finished making my chocolate ganache. And now I'm going to start my peanut butter and banana ice cream up. And there's a couple dates in there to sweeten it up also as well. We have my um, peanut butter and banana ice cream. So I'm going to spoon it into my bowl. And now I'm just going to add the chocolate sauce which is kind of 
kind of hard with one hand, so hold on. So when it goes on there, it should kind of freeze up, or at least I'm hoping that's what it's going to do. So I'm not going to use all this. I kind of made way too much, but whatever. So we'll just make the whole thing, the whole top of chocolate shell, hopefully. Hopefully that does something. I don't know. We'll come back in a minute and see if it hardened up for me. So it's actually only been like 30 seconds since I last had this, but look. That's magic shell, yo. That is magic shell. Awesome. Straight up, this is delicious. Um, the reason why is I can taste the coconut in there. And all it is is coconut oil. I definitely could have sweetened up the uh, hard shell a little more. But the banana ice cream kind of takes away from the uh, bitterness of that chocolate. Because there wasn't enough sweetener. But do you see that? That's chocolate hard shell. Awesome. Alright, so I have the raw, um, I just brushed my teeth, think. Well, I have the raw ravioli. You can leave them in as long as you'd like, or not as long as you like. So if you want to put them in five minutes just to heat them up, totally you can do it. Or you can leave them overnight. They'll go crispy, so I'm going to see which one's better. So, let's try this. Mmm. It tastes kind of like an apple pie. What do you want? Where are you?